Okay. Hello and welcome to Beauty Tip Tuesday, where I am going to share with you how to do your brows for beginners. Who's beginners out there who doesn't know anything about microblading and doing all the things, who wants a simple way to do your eyebrows. I'm going to teach you in just a few steps. So uh, my name is Margaret. I'd love for you to just uh, pop in on the comments. Let me know that you're here. And uh, as we kind of are getting acquainted, let me know where you're um, tuning in from as well. And, you know, I'm I'm going to show you just quick and easy. I'm a kind of quick and simple um, person when it comes to makeup. And I love sharing my tips with you all. And I'd love to hear if you have any tips that you would love to, you know, love to learn about that you'd like me to do a video on. I'd love to hear that too. So I always love to get your input on that and, um, and provide, you know, content that you guys are wanting to see. So anyway, um, my um, name again is Margaret. For those of you who don't know me, remember to type in hashtag replay. If you're watching this on the replay, um, that's totally good and fine. And I'm glad that you're here no matter what, whether you're watching this live right now or on the replay. Um, but I'd love to hear from you. And I always um, acknowledge the comments. And if you put any questions in there, um, I will go back and answer them for you. So um, if you do not know that I have a YouTube channel, I'd love for you to um, consider subscribing to it. If you um, uh, check out uh, youtube.com slash forward slash at Margaret Lampkin. Um, you will find uh, me there. And I also have some great Pilates um, playlists as well, in addition to skincare and makeup and all the things. So anyway, let's jump in and get started. So let's talk about first um, where to place the eyebrows. Okay. So the first thing is we want to kind of just do this little map <laughs> here and make sure that we aren't um, uh, allowing any color here. Okay. Or, or when we are tweezing perhaps, or getting our eyebrows waxed, um, you want to make sure that the shape here doesn't go any further in than, um, this line next to your nose. Okay. So this would be kind of the marker for that. And then you want to know where the arch goes is going to be on the bottom of the nose here up to this section. Okay. That's kind of where the arch of the brow is. And then from the bottom of the nose this way, that is um, how far out you want your brow to go. So those are just kind of basic little steps um, to kind of map it out. And in fact, um, my favorite liner, this is a called a precision brow liner, and this is in the color blonde. I love it because it's got these tiny, tiny little, um, uh, you know, pencils. So you really can get more of a natural look. But um, as you can see here, I'm just kind of mapping it out. Um, I put just like a little dot there just to kind of make sure I remember not to go farther in than that. And then as far as the arch goes, okay, we're going here. And then we just kind of get right up in there. <laughs> and we know that that's sort of where the, the arch should be of my brow. And then on the outside here, we're just going to kind of go like that. And then we know that's as far out. I'm just kind of twisting it a little bit. That's as far out as I want the brow to go. So next, what you're going to do is just simply um, trace your brow um, starting from, so it's kind of like we're going to, we're going to outline it and then fill it in. Okay. And um, what I'd like to do, or what I like to do is go underneath first. We're kind of drawing the line on the underneath part of the brow tracing it on the outside there. And then up above, we're going to go kind of just like right on the outside. So we're making essentially just a little trace and outline of our brow. And so that's going to be kind of like, you know, you're not going to color outside the lines, right? So um, very easy like that up to that arch and then coming back down. Okay. So then I'm going to fill it in and I'm going to start actually on um, the back end and kind of just do little tiny um, strokes. Okay. Cause we want it to look as natural as possible. So I'm just doing like little teeny tiny strokes and then I'm going to come in this way and do little teeny tiny strokes. So it looks very natural. There we go. And that's it. So if you're blonde like me, sometimes we get worried that we're going to look like the brows are like too much, right? Um, we don't want them to look um, not natural, right? But we still want to um, frame the eye area well. And so that's where 
um, these precision liners come in and just making sure that you have um, the correct color uh, for your brows to make it look natural and to kind of color the skin as well versus just the top of the brow hairs, okay? But as long as you do just those like short little hairline strokes, you can do it very naturally and um, make it look. Now, <laughs> I did hear this one time that your brows are actually sisters, not twins, so they don't have to look exactly alike. But um, it's always good to <laughs> just kind of map it out there first. And then we're going to go underneath. Remember, I'm just kind of tracing it from the bottom and then tracing it on the top. So I'm outlining first. There we go. Just real simple there. And then we're going to do just those little tiny strokes. Okay. And when you have something like this, a precision liner, it makes it a lot easier and makes it look a lot more natural. Um, because we're kind of just filling in where, um, you know, our, our brows might be a little more sparse. And that um, kind of, you know, if you don't color it in, sometimes you sort of look washed out. And that's not what we're going for, right? All right. There we go. Okay. So I'll kind of stand back. So I'm not like right in your face there. So there is my brows. So that's with the precision liner. Um, now there is something called a volumizing brow tint that I love to use too. And sometimes I will, if I use the pencil, I'll go on top of the brows um, just to kind of volumize the hair a little bit more and make them look a little thicker. It's kind of like mascara um, for your eyebrows. And uh, anyway, so you can apply that on top of your brows to kind of just seal them up. You can do that. Or little side note, um, I don't always sit here in the morning, especially when I'm getting ready and I'm, you know, running late. <laughs> um, I'm not going to sit there and like really do all the mapping out of my brows. I mean, I just don't have the time, right? Let's get real. Anybody you like, are you with me? Give me a little <laughs> thumbs up in the comments. Um, well, this is like lazy man, lazy girl eyebrows. So you can actually just use the tint, no pencil, and just fluff up those brows, and then you are good to go. So um, that is my quick and fast way of doing it. Um, when I'm totally glamming it up, of course, I do the pencil and the tint. Um, and then one last little tip, because I talk so much about the finishing spray. Um, this is kind of like hairspray for your brows. So what you can do is actually spritz the makeup finishing spray onto the little spoolie brush and then you can apply that on top of your um, brows and that's literally like hairspray for your eyebrows and just keeps them all in place keeps the color on nicely so that way you're all sealed up staying beautiful for the rest of the day. So that is my brows for beginners uh, little tips there. So let me know in the comments what you um, learned from this video. If you found any value from it, of course, make sure to like it and uh, comment, please, and do share it with a girlfriend um, that you think might be interested in this tip. So I will see you in the next